on, today we will read the book Penny Earth. This book is illustrated by Andy Tool and designed by Joey Gray. This is the content. You can uh, read this. First, we will learn about a place in space. We live on Earth, one of the eight planets that move around the sun. These are it vanish in uh, the solar system. Scientists think that Earth is the only planet with anything living on Earth. Oh, Earth is mm, the only planet with anything living on it. Other can't. Next part, we will learn about all around all about Earth. Things can live on Earth because it has a right mixture of hot air and water. The sun keeps the planet warm. Living things, people, animals and plants all need air to breathe. Over half of, um, of the Earth is covered with in water. All living things need water to stay alive. And the middle of planet called the cold. It's very, very hot there. Around the core is the mantles. The rocks are so hot that they are slightly wishy. The mantles are covered with a thin layer of solid rock called the crust. This is what we will learn about moving Earth. The Earth's crust is made of pieces. The pieces of crust slot together around the Earth very, very slowly. The pieces of cross move around. The place where the pieces slide past each other is called a fault. Pieces of cross can move smoothly along a fault, but sometimes they get jammed. And when jammed, pieces can suddenly start to slip past one another. The landable tramples and cracks. Is it an earthquake? Oh! Um, an earthquake and we will read a book of many kind of earthquake you can find in uh, my YouTube video in uh, YouTube Nam Minh Hai Hong Sao or Hong Tập Cung Nhật Minh and uh, um, you will see Big earthquakes can destroy buildings and tear up roads. There are even earthquakes on the moon. They are called moonquake. Oh, the moon has earthquake too. And in there is called earthquake is moonquake. Next part we will learn about mountain high. As the crust moves, it slowly push, pushes some of the land up into tall. Rocky mountains. In mountains in uh, this picture are the Alps in Europe. It took millions of years to get the tall. Some mountains, such as the Himalayas, are growing taller every year. And mountain big stays snowy because the air is cold high up. So mountain goats need thick coats to keep them warm. Oh. The, this mountain is the Alps in Rome. It's so tall because it took millions of years for them to get this tall. And next part we will learn about volcanoes. This hot rocks from the mantles can creep up through cracks in the crust and escape onto the land as the volcanoes. This is the volcano erupting. Oh, you see the, in this picture. This volcano is erupting, and the hot rock that it caves is called lava. This is lava. It's red and it's very hot. It's from the mantles. Some people in Hawaii think that the goodness a fire lives in volcano. Oh, people in Hawaii is dangerous because they think volcano in Hawaii they think that the goodness a fire. So they live in a volcano. Volcano erupt in different ways. Violent eruptions fish as gas into the sky. Oh, this is the three kind of volcano erupt. 
um, you can read first name this um, violent eruptions flying ash and gas high into the sky and sometimes volcanoes is through our lamps of hot sticky lava. Some volcano spray running lava from the rock crash in the ground. It's a tree kind when volcano erupt. Next part we will learn about running rivers. When it rains or snow in the mountains the mountains, the hot rock cannot scrap shut up all the water. Water trees down from the high ground in the small stream. Lots of streams draw together to make a big river. The river flows downhill all the way to the sea. And the fast flowing river picks lots of stone and pebbles from the river bed. When the river slows down, it drops the heavier stones but still carries its small pebbles. As the river gets near the sea, it slows down so much that it drops almost everything. The Lin in, in Africa is the longest river in the world. It is so big it can even see it from space. Oh, the Lin River is so big that when we are out of space, we can see it. Next, next, next part we will learn about wearing away. Rivers change the shape of the land as they flow over it. A river flow over the land picking up stones and soil from the ground. The stones bump along the riverbed, wearing away a groove in the land. Over many years, the river carves a valley into a ground below. This is a grand crayon in USA. It shows millions of years for the riverbed, way this yard. Oh, this in the Grand Crayons in the USA is so deep because it took, it took millions of years to fall the river to yeah, wear away the deep jaws. Next part, we will learn about underground caves. Not all rivers flow over land, some flow under it. Rivers can flow underground, can wear away the rock to make caves. Staticers hang from the roofs of caves. Stalamis grows up from the floor below. Stalactites and stalagmites are built up over thousands of years from tiny grains of rock carried into the cave by dripping water. Some caves have paintings on the walls that were made thousands of years ago. Next part, we will learn about coal as ice. Some of the Earth's water stays frozen as ice for most of the year. Antarctica is the coldest place in the world. The land is covered in with snow uh, and an iceberg falls in the sea. First, uh, we will learn how to uh, uh, iceberg speed. Ice spreads are from the land and flows on the sea. The sea moves up and down, causing the ice to crash. The crash gets bigger until a block of ice breaks are off. The block floats away in the sea as an iceberg. And in Antarctica it gets so cold in winter that even the sea freezes over. Next part we will learn about coast. The coast is where the land meets the sea. Sand is made of broken shells and rocks. The sea grains are pieces into tiny grains. Then washes them ashore. Waves crash against the side of the cliff. The top of the ash fall into the water, leaving a stack standing in the sea. This is a stack, everyone. This is a stack. Some beaches have black sand made of volcanic rock. Oh, I 
king was go into Tunchal Island, and the Sandia man is back because in a volcanic rock. And you can watch this video in my YouTube video. In YouTube, next part we will learn about deep water. Oceans and sea cover more than half of the earth. Many different things live there. Not a creature lives there on the surface where it is light and the water is warm. You put down darker and colder. Few things can you there. Swim whales dive deep down, looking to sweep to eat. Time is ill. Um, submarines like this one to deep dive, dive deep in, into the sea and explore the ocean floor. Some deep um, sea fish um, grow in uh, the dark to attract small fish, then they eat them. Next part. We will learn about dusty deserts. The deserts are the driest places on earth. Very little rain falls and the land is dry and dusty. The Sahara Desert in Africa is one of the biggest deserts on the world. Even in the desert, water trapped in the rocks underground. Over a long time, the water builds up and forms a pool. Plants grow near the pool. This is called the oasis. People who are travel across the desert stop at the oasis. And the desert animals stay in the ground during the hot day and come out at night to find food. Next part, we will learn about extraordinary earth. Plenty of the amazing plagues. Dot, dot, dot. We name the largest island in the world. Oh! You see there, it's a green land. It's near the largest island in the world. Angel Falls. Venezuela is a world's tallest waterfall. It is 979 meters. Um, the same as 3,200 one and 12 feet high. Some parts of the Atamaca Desert in Chile, Chile, when we thought rain for for um, hundred years. Mount Everest is the highest place in the world. It is eight hundred. Oh, sorry, eight thousand eight hundred and fifteen meters high. And the deepest part of the Marianas Trench is about 1,100 meters underwater. And Antarctica is the coldest place on Earth. It once reached 89 sea, uh, 128 F. It's so cold. And this is the glossary of the Earth world. You can read this glossary. It's all the things in this book you do not know. Oh, and now we're done reading this book. And everyone, thanks for watching my video.